Hey subscribers, today I work on the 1973 Jeep Commando. I'm gonna hopefully take off this stupid plow frame and swap the nose out with this rust free one that I picked up. Hopefully it'll look a little better. Can't buy these fenders, so if you can find them in good shape, you're ahead of the game. So you can see how rotted these are. It'll be interesting to see how hard it is to get this apart. The hardest part of this project is trying to figure out which wires go to the plow lights. I think I got it pretty well figured out here. I don't want to cut up the original harness if I don't have to. Bumper is off. Luckily it had all these little spacers that bolted it onto the plow frame. So I snipped them off the torch to gain access to all the mounting bolts. And I can save these bumper brackets too. Plow frame is off, thank God. The nose is removed. And now I'm gonna tackle that leaking power steering line. It's the return line, luckily. So it's easier to get to while the nose is off. That's why I hooked up the battery so I can see where it leaks from. I also had to fix some wires over here and these plugs, they're completely rotted off. So I soldered new ends on and made those happy. The joys of working on an old plow rig. Fix the power steering lines and the nose is starting to go back together. It's looking really good. Too bad the tub needs total restoration, but just having solid fenders will make it look that much better. Finished putting the nose on the commando, bumpers on. Even fixed the automatic choke on it. Lights work. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. It looks much better than those rust holes in the fender. I just gotta do rust repair to the rest of the tub and it'll be a pretty happy commando. Until then, I'll catch you later.